I'm Jesus, and this video is going to be looking at CSGO's luckiest knife unboxings, sponsored by CS Money, the quick, easy and safe skins marketplace, more about them later, and I'm also taking part in an AK-47 Bloodsport giveaway hosted by The Loot. You'll find the link to that in the pinned comment. Anyway, what makes a knife unboxing lucky? The odds of getting a knife from a case are only 1 in 384, so by that definition, pretty much every knife unboxing is lucky, isn't it? It, it would certainly seem like it, judging by the way streamers react. It's nothing. It's, it's a knife! <gasps> Sonny! 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 Oh! <laughs> Let's go! This is our special! <laughs> oh! My God! No way! Gee! No! No! Oh! 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 Oh my god! Bloody hell, listen to that last guy. Keep it in your pants, mate. Still, in this video, and hopefully this series, I want to do a bit of an autopsy on lucky case unboxings that have been caught on stream and broadcast around the internet. We can have a look at just how lucky they really are. Now, as a starting premise, I don't think unboxing something rare is really the same as unboxing something lucky. I, I mean, take this kid who opened up an Orp Dragon Lore back in the day. And go, oh, I want to get something worth it. <gasps> a pretty incredible pickup, and his chances of getting it were only one in 3,906, or something along those sort of lines. We don't have the exact odds, but that's the best figures I've got given what we know about case odds. Now, I want to compare this to this German guy on a simp that we saw a moment earlier getting an Ursus knife. It's a knife! TJ Bezos! TJ Bezos! Are you kidding me? Who's that wanker laughing in the background? It's bloody annoying. But anyway, the odds of getting an Ursus knife from a Prisma case are actually even lower. It's 1 in 384 to get a knife in the first place, then 1 in 4 to get an Ursus, and then 1 in 7 to get a vanilla knife. So you're much less likely to get one of these than you are to get a Dragon Law. So does that make Onisimp luckier than the Dragon Law kid? Well, obviously not, because for one, the cobblestone case, at the time this kid was opening it, was about $25 versus $2.50 to open a case, so already a major difference. And secondly, in getting an Ursus knife, Honor missed out on getting a heap of much better knives that would have made him a lot more money. He had good luck, but it was kind of bad luck at the same time. So we need to think more about this than just saying that knife is rare. So without further ado, Let's start looking at some unboxings. Take this blue gem unboxing for example. This guy got a pretty nice blue gem from this case here. I will just fast forward. Okay, right. So this is a 265 pattern Karambit case hardened. A pretty nice blue gem, pretty nice, but not, not the absolute best. In fact, there's roughly 20 to 30 patterns that are generally considered to be better. Uh, just compare it to the 387, for example. Now, this is generally considered to be one of the best. Now, 387 patterns sell for a lot. Turbo Motions recently sold his for 18k cash, for example, and sometimes they sell for even more. Now, with this thing, it is hard to get exact prices, but it definitely isn't worth anywhere near as much as a tier one pattern. I think around about the end of last year, it was about $1,000. So, it's still a good unboxing, but it's not the same as an absolute top tier blue gem. But let's say this is the 25th best blue gem pattern out there. Well, the odds of getting a Cranbot blue gem at least this good are 1 in 998,400. So he's still a pretty lucky bastard, let's be honest. But anyway, let's move on to someone getting a knife that's a little bit less blue gemmy. So this guy is called Shay2. And He's about to be sucked inwards as if by vacuum and then blasted backwards by the awesomeness of the knife that he's unboxing. What the f What? <laughs> now look, I did just mock this poor sod, but in his defense, this is actually a very, very good knife to get. And it's understandable that it might be a bit exciting. I, I mean, if you were to look at the skeleton knife fade on the Steam market, you would notice that there's no listings because it's literally so expensive that it's not able to be sold there. And if you were to look it up on third party sites like Skin Baron, for example, you'd notice that it's selling for around 2,000 euros. And that makes this essentially the best knife you can get from the Shattered Web case, the only exceptions being some factory new Crimson Webs and Blue Gem patterns. So 
keeping that in mind, let's do the math. So it's 1 in 384 to get a knife, it's 1 in 4 to get a skeleton knife from the Shadow Web case, it's 1 in 13 to get a fade, so that's 1 in 19,968. But let's add on your chances of getting a blue gem knife or a factory new crimson web on top of this. So getting a factory new crimson web for any knife in this case is 1 in 828,672. Getting one of the top five case hardened patterns, again, for any knife, not just a skeleton knife, is one in 998,400. And, and yes, we have seen this number before, it's just a coincidence. But anyway, if we add that together, this guy's chances of getting this knife or something better are one in 19,125. Better odds than that blue gem, and I gotta say, this knife is worth more too. But anyway, Speaking of those factory new crimson webs, I found a video of someone unboxing one of them. Now, I, I have to warn you, the guy does appear to have some breathing difficulties in this video. I, I think, anyway, maybe something not quite so safe for work is going on instead. I, I, I don't know. You decide. I don't know. I don't know. So, he got a factory new bayonet crimson web, a pretty neat skin to get from a case. There's only 34 non dupe versions of this skin registered on Folk.db, actually, although there definitely would be a few more unregistered ones out there, and they sell for a fair bit. On buff, even a duped factory new bayonet crimson web is worth about $4,000 or more, and if you want a non duped bayonet factory new crimson web, well, that... That's expensive. It's worth a lot more than four thousand US dollars. I'll just say that much. Try more like five figures. So, a pretty expensive knife, and it begs the question of just how lucky this guy's been. I mean, we mentioned earlier that the chance of getting a factory new crimson web is about one in eight hundred twenty-eight thousand six hundred seventy-two. But that's for any knife, not specifically a bayonet. So, to specifically get a bayonet one of five different types of knives in this case, your odds are more like 1 in 4,143,360. But in fairness, a factory new Karambit or M9 bayonet are arguably better than your standard bayonet, so his odds of getting a knife at least this good are more like 3 in 4,143,360, or 1 in 1,381,120. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of big numbers. But but anyway, long story short, this guy still got pretty lucky. It, it, little wonder, he's having trouble breathing. So anyway, let's move on to our final victim. Now, I, I believe this guy's doing the knife unboxing while your gonads are being squeezed challenge, but given what he's about to get, maybe the reaction is a bit more understandable. <laughs> so he landed himself a Karambit Doppler Sapphire. Now, this is a chroma knife, so the vanilla knives in chroma finishes. We haven't had a chroma case in over four years now, so they're, they're getting fairly old at this point, but they're also generally pretty expensive, particularly when it comes to the Dopplers. Now, a, a Karambit Sapphire is actually about $6,000 on CS money. Now, in cash, that's probably closer to $4,500, but still, it's a pretty decent knife to get, but the flip side of that is obviously that it's also quite difficult to get. So the odds of getting a Doppler Karambit from a Chroma case are 1 in 13,440, and the odds of getting that in Ruby or Sapphires are 1 in 10. Now, I, I guess specifically getting a Sapphire is another 50% off that, but who really cares if it's a Ruby instead? They're both massive stonks, so that comes to 1 in 134,400. But in fairness, M9 bayonet dopplers are worth more than Krambus. It, it's a better knife. So we really should say two in 134,400 to account for that. So that, that's still one in 67,200. And I'll tell you what, I think that does actually justify a high pitched squeal. Anyway. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, massively appreciate it. And I'm also hoping this will be the first in a series. So please leave any feedback you have for future episodes and a big thank you 
to CS Money for sponsoring this channel. CS Money is a skins trading site that's quick, easy and safe. Now, there's multiple ways to buy on the site. First of all, you can deposit your own skins in order to get balance to trade for skins on the site. You can also use one of a whole bunch of different payment methods. The great thing about this site is it's got a huge range of skins. It's got what you want, when you want it. There's tons of stuff here. And it's also got a number of other cool features, including a 3D skin inspect feature and an item wiki. Now, these are both free features. You don't need to pay to use them. They're there for you, even if you never use a site. So really great place. I recommend checking it out. Link is in the description. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.